Hi, my name is Clara. I'm a 21-year-old bachelor student and today I will be visiting four alumni from the master's program in Molecular Mechanisms of Disease. I'll be asking them about their current profession, how they like their program and whether they have any advice for us as prospective students. I'm now in the lab with Pascal. Pascal, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm assistant professor at the Radboud UMC here in the Department of Medical Microbiology and yeah, I work in the Molecular Virology group. How did uh, MMD help you in achieving this position where you're at now? Yeah, so very concretely, um, I uh, applied for a PhD scholarship, which you can do as a, PhD, uh, as a master student of molecular mechanisms of disease. And yeah, I was fortunate enough to uh, be awarded that PhD position. And so I did my PhD in this very same group here. So I'm now standing uh, here with Estelle. Hi Estelle, what's your current profession? I'm currently since very shortly a postdoctoral researcher and I'm working also here at the Department of Tumor Immunology on dendritic cell vaccination. So why did you choose the MMD program? Well, I chose it for several reasons. It helped actually that I, I knew someone at my university who was doing it. And uh, she told me that it was a very small group that we got a lot of opportunity to uh, get to know different scientists. And we got trained also in the skills that we would use to research later. And also the broad perspective really appealed me. I really wanted to know what's in there. So now I'm staying next to Taime, who also did the master's in MMD. So Taime, what's your profession? My profession is a business intelligence developer at a company in Utrecht called EQ Group. And we basically do big data analysis for other companies instead of for molecular life science. I chose MMD because after my bachelor's, which was molecular life sciences, I found that MMD was the most challenging master to pick uh, because at the time I really wanted to do a PhD. So now I'm uh, participating in this meeting with René, who is uh, in Germany working at the moment. Hi René, so um, what's your current profession? Okay, so uh, I'm a clinical um, study management team lead um, at a central um, laboratory dedicated to clinical studies. All right, then um, why did you choose uh, to study MMD? Um, because of the close interactions uh, with the lecturers um, in the different sessions and also because of um, the, dish, uh, of the uh, international uh, character of the program. So this was really like the go-to moment for me when I realized, okay, uh, they really want to push the international spirit and this was really what fascinated me. Um, what I enjoyed the most were certainly the the internships and um, above all my internship at the University of Edinburgh in, in Scotland, so my internship abroad, that, yeah. that certainly opened avenues when I, when I went there. How did you get from uh, MMD to uh, working into the industry? Well, I started looking uh, for data analysis companies because I really liked the data analysis after I conducted the wet lab. Um, so instead of the field of molecular biology, I did big data analysis for other companies. And what specifically did you like about the program? Um, I really enjoyed the uh, international but yet uh, familiar family feeling uh, of the cohort. And next to this, um, the close interactions uh, with the different lecture lecturers were really unique. We had a teacher who always said, have fun. And this became our pun. <laughs> Definitely, I think you should have fun. And I also think that uh, you should really use all these opportunities you have to just go to symposia, to work with so many different people, to just get out of your comfort zone and learn as much as you can, because you'll realize how much you can learn and that's, that's all about it. I think my biggest advice would be to um, really do what you 
like, uh, and that sounds very cliche, but keep asking yourself that question over and over and over again. Like, do I still like what I'm doing? And if the answer is, I don't know, then maybe you should also consider some other options. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If you're interested in joining the master's program in molecular mechanisms of disease, please don't hesitate to check our website for more information and contact us if you have any more questions. Bye.